Well, we've been having a bit of a drama on board and rider this uh, over the night now. Um, it was about a uh, quarter to three in the morning, sometime around that time. Uh, check on my logbook here. What does it say? Um, yeah, 3.45, quarter to four in the morning that um, I was woken by a loud flapping noise on deck and I discovered on going up that the Genoa was flapping like mad, fully out. It's quite a good wind, 15 knots or so. And it turned out that the sheet that holds it ten tensioned had been, had chafed completely through, had, had been cut and uh, near the winch, in fact, near, near the cockpit. So I had to pull in on the tension, the other sheet and furl the sail in completely to stop it um, flapping around because it wasn't being held in place. Um, this, of course, was following earlier in the night when my GPS input to the plot had failed and so I no longer had the um, autopilot able to keep us on a track and also I was unable to see on the plotter where the boat was. Fortunately, I had this alternative um, app on my iPad, which is the Navionics boating app, and that was a, um, showed me usefully that Clarion Island, you see I'm making for the little bay there now, down to the south, and it's at the moment just about a day away at the speed we're making, which is around five knots on a heading of 281 degrees. So quite a bit of um, stress and work involved. I had to get out the, I put out the, well, I had to sheet in on the uh, mainsail, which needed it anyway. Um, I, I then realised, of course, I could put out my staysail, which is rather small, but at least it's something. And so the uh, staysail, putting that, getting that out, then I had to relead a line, had to um, put up the running backstay. And so eventually, anyway, and after an hour of work, I've managed to get everything organised. And we're making a fair speed, according to this, it's around five knots. So, um, as I say, that means 120 miles if we did five knots on average. So we should be there within a day, which will be middle of the night tomorrow. Anyway, at least we're under, all, everything's under control, but we don't have the use of the Genoa at the moment unless we're on a port tack, unless the wind were coming from the opposite direction. Uh, we don't have a sheet, so I'm heading for Clarion while I can. Um, if I show the situation there, there's Isla Clarion, there's Socorro where we were, and uh, you can see the change of course that I've had to make from, um, oh what were we, we were Let's see, we were roughly doing two, yes, near, uh, just under 240, and now we're making, trying to make a course of 280, so about a 40, 50 degree change of course. So, everything's going okay, we're a little bit on the slow side, but at least we've got the alternative head sail, even though it's a bit small. And um, I shall get now to my bunk and get some more sleep and just double check in daylight that um, I've got everything under control. Interestingly and amusingly, I did find almost immediately on de in the cockpit, inside the cockpit, two good sized flying fish, which are now in my galley sink, and also um, several others I've seen around. So I think in the morning we'll be able to make a few more. Um, have some fresh fish for lunch. Anyway, I think it's back to my bunk at the moment. Oh, I'm feeling quite tired. 
and uh, I certainly need some sleep. Everything's under control and everything's fine. And as I was about to get back to my bunk, I suddenly realised it was beginning to get light in the sky. There was, and there was a beautiful pre-dawn colouring over in the east, astern of us. So um, I went up on deck. I thought, uh, you know, rather lovely to see. And at the same time, on the opposite side of the sky, the near full moon was shining brightly still. So rather lovely. And um, I'm running the generator because I'm running, running low on power. But I'm just about to get back to my bunk now and get some sleep. It was over an hour that I took sorting out things after I woke up to all the flapping and the noise on deck. So um, I really do need to get some more sleep now.